All right, Rob, I really can't imagine what new Browns head coach Kevin Stefanski is thinking right now. Uh, first, that arrest warrant for Odell Beckham Jr., mm -hmm. and then marijuana found in the car Kareem Hunt was just driving. Yeah, and News 5 sports anchor Derek Forge joins us with more. And, Derek, the problems, they just keep piling up. Yeah, and it seems like uh, Coach Stefanski already has enough to deal with looking for a coaching staff, and it seems like the Browns always find themselves in the news. And unfortunately, Kareem Hunt finds his name coming back up in the news for a net, uh, for negative reasons after being pulled over Tuesday afternoon for speeding. And according to the police report, the cop who pulled over Hunt said he noticed the smell of marijuana. So that led to a search of the car where he found the substance in three different areas of the car. Hunt received a ticket for speeding. However, he was not charged for anything else. So in terms of football, the NFL has said uh, the league is aware of the incident. It's something the NFL will certainly take a look at, especially after the off the field incidents Hunt had last year where he missed eight games for physical alter altercation uh, with a woman, guys. It's always something here. This brings up the question now, should the Browns re-sign Kareem Hunt after the incident that we just heard about this week? We just heard from you. More than 600 people have weighed in so far on our Facebook page, and 80% say, yep, keep him on the team. 20% say, do not re-sign him. We shall see. Derek, thank you.